here velocity of sound is given as 320 meter per second what does it mean that means distance traveled by the sound in one second is 320 meter again frequency of tuning fork is also given frequency of tuning fork is 256 Hertz what is the time taken by the tuning fork to make it 256 vibrations easily you will understand that is one second in fact the question is what is the distance traveled by the sound wave in 256 vibrations of the tuning fork that is the distance traveled by the sound wave in one second so the answer is 320 meter ultrasonic waves are preferred to audible sound in sound navigation and ranging that's a correct statement the reason given is ultrasonic waves have long wavelength but the fact is that ultrasonic waves have high frequency that means their wavelength is less so the assertion is correct but reason is incorrect a man standing in front of a wall claps his hands and hears the echo this is the wall and here is our man This man claps his hands. So he is the source of sound and he is the observer also. Here sound travels from him towards the wall. What is the minimum distance required between the obstacle and observer to hear a distinct echo in air? 17 meter. So first sound travels 17 meter towards the wall and from there it reflects and again travels 17 meter to reach the observer so here the answer is 34 meter in this question time taken to get the signal back from the airplane is given as 0 0.03 milliseconds that's equal to 0 0.03 into 10 to the power minus 3 seconds. That comes to be 3 into 10 to the power minus 5 seconds. Speed of signal is given as 300,000 km per second. That is 300,000 into 10 to the power 3 meter per second which comes to be 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. In echo method, we have the formula distance between obstacle and observer is equal to V into T by 2. Remember, this formula is used when the source of the waves and the observer are at the same place. In this case, Radar is the source of the wave as well as the detector. So we can use this formula. On substituting we get 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second multiplied by 3 into 10 to the power minus 5 seconds divided by 2. On Further calculation we get 4.5 into 10 to the power 3 meter as the final answer. In this question, ratio of amplitude of the waves are given. Amplitude of wave A is to amplitude of wave B is equal to 4 is to 9. 
and the question is to find the ratio between the speed of the waves in air but speed of the wave is not affected by amplitude therefore both the waves travel with the same speed in air so the ratio of the speed is 1 is to 1 in part b we need to know the relation between loudness and amplitude you know that loudness is directly proportional to square of amplitude so loudness caused by a divided by loudness caused by b is equal to amplitude of a divided by amplitude of b the whole square which is equal to 4 by 9 the whole square thus the record ratio of loudness is equal to 16 is to 81 in this question wavelength of wave in water is given as 4 cm that is 4 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter velocity of sound in water is 1400 meter per second so frequency of sound in water is equal to v by lambda v is 1400 meter per second divided by lambda lambda is 4 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter thus we get the frequency as 35 thousand hertz even though medium changes frequency of the wave remains the same so frequency of the wave in air is equal to the frequency of the wave in water which is equal to 35000 hertz this frequency is not in the audible range so the sound is not audible to us the audible range of frequency is 20 hertz to 20000 hertz Question says that the same stretched string is vibrated in three different modes. In the first mode of vibration, there is only one loop. And the second mode of vibration, there are two loops. And the third one, which is represented by R, there are four loops. Number of loops present in a even stretched string is an indication of frequency the more the number of loops the more will be the frequency so here maximum frequency is for the mode of vibration R the ratio between the number of loops give the ratio of frequency so here ratio between the frequency of the mode of vibration P and that of Q is 1 is to 2. The ratio between the frequency of the mode of vibration P and that of R is 1 is to 4. And you know that wavelength is inversely proportional to frequency. Therefore, ratio between the wavelengths of P and R can be given by 1 by Fp is to 1 by fr that's equal to fr divided by fp 4 by 1 thus the record ratio is 4 is to 1 next question which mode of vibration is first subsidiary or first overtone let us consider a stretched string vibrates under different modes in the first case it vibrates with only one loop 
that is the fundamental knot second case there are two loops that is the first tower tone or first subsidiary third case there are three loops second tower tone and the fourth case there are four loops and that is the third tower tone so here the answer is q a bucket is being filled with water under a tap how does the pitch of sound change when bucket is being filled pitch of the sound increases the reason is that when the bucket is being filled with water length of the air column decreases as a result frequency of vibration increases when frequency of vibration increases pitch also increases next question is very direct difference in waveform makes the difference in quality even though pitch and loudness is the same what is echo you need to know a proper definition for echo this one will help you in the rehearing of sound due to reflection of sound waves from a distant obstacle after the original sound has ceased is called echo the next problem speed of motorcycle is given as 54 km per hour that is 54 into 5 by 18 meter per second which is equal to 15 meter per second the man is riding a motorcycle towards a hill let the man's initial position be p and he covers a distance pq in 4.5 seconds by the time sound reaches the hill and reflects back he can hear the echo let us take the distance between man's original position and the hill be x and let the distance pq be y then the distance traveled by the man in 4.5 second is equal to 15 meter per second into 4.5 second that is equal to 67.5 meter let us find the distance traveled by sound in this time 340 meter per second multiplied by 4.5 second is equal to 1530 meter as per our diagram the distance traveled by sound in 4.5 second is x plus x minus y which is equal to 1530 meter that implies 2x minus y equal to 1530 let us substitute the value of y thus we get 2x minus 67.5 is equal to 1530 2x is equal to 1530 plus 67.5 that means x is equal to 798.75 so 
so the final answer the man's distance from the hill when he fired the gun was 700 798.75 meter